of the lily of the valley. Sweet Jesus, you're the bride of when the wife goes out to say image of the man, or when the man goes out to say image of the wife. So let us protect the image of each other. And in some cases, when it comes to dressing, when you go out with a dirty shirt and all this, it's the woman who will be blamed when you're married. Of course. You are the, the woman is going to be blamed and say, where, where was uh, the wife? You remember there is one Kenyan minister who won the socks. They were ups and down. And, uh, and uh, two socks, different socks. And the man, the media captured him in a very important person. In fact, he was a leader in our county here and very great man. Now, the wife had to apologize to the nation. See, I don't know. That day he wore this. I was not there. But as a, man, a wife, I shouldn't have been there. I don't blame him for doing that. But I blame myself because... This is me. I am supposed to take care of him and control him and allow him to go out when he's good to check on him. But that day, I failed as a wife. Look at that. It's the woman who was being blamed. And when the woman was being blamed, she was able to argue her case out. Please let us get that kind of understanding as couples <laughs> and get this knowledge as couples so that we are going to help each other can i add this mm. especially to those people who like exposing themselves mm. because they may think that it is being modern mm. they may think that it is it is it is it is it is something that i should embrace mm -hmm. I, 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 even so and so wears this even so and so and is a mighty and anointed man of god wears, wears this mm. even this and this woman and she's a woman of God wears this. Those people, they are not our standard measure. Mm. Our standard measure, measure Christ. is Christ. Mm. Now, in the same Even sense, Apostle Moeda is not a standard yeah, measure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm. So, uh, in the book of Hosea, where I was reading, mm. I want just to read and I will emphasize with verse 3 and 4. Mm. But I will read this for the sake of those who never understood mm. what I was saying. Mm. God is saying this. Plead with your mother. That is Hosea chapter number 2, verse, verse 2. two. Mm. Plead with your mother. Plead for she is not my wife. Mm. God is denouncing the nation, mm. which is mm. in, in, in form of a wife. Mm. She is not my wife. Neither am I a husband. Mm. Let her therefore put away her hoodoms out of her sight mm. and her daughters from between her breasts. Mm -hmm. Verse 3 is very key. Mm -hmm. Lest I strip her naked. So people who like to walk naked, a time comes in life when God strips, strips them, them naked, naked completely uh, mm -hmm. and set her as in the day that she was born. So this is the time that God exposes you into mm -hmm. a life of shame. Mm -hmm. Everything in your life becomes shameful mm. and it brings a lot of shame. Mm. So he said, lest I strip her naked and set her as in the day that she was born mm. and make her as a wilderness. Mm. So people like exposing themselves. Mm. God, God will make you like a wilderness. God will make them like wilderness. Mm. And is there anything good that comes from a wilderness? No, no, no. 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 So mm. he says, and make her as a wilderness and set her like a dry lad, uh -huh. set her like a dry lad. So there are repercussions of people who like walking naked. God um, gives you a warning the way He gave the children of Israel, the way He gave the nation of Israel, and he, 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 it is gone in Jesus' name. Mm. He's saying that I will, I will, I will make sure that. I'll put, I'll make her naked mm -hmm. as the day, the, the day she was born. Mm -hmm. I'll make her as wilderness uh -huh. and set her like a dry lad mm -hmm. and slay her with that. You know, those, those <laughs> things, they, they are dangerous. Mm -hmm. It is God. And I tell you, there are people, whenever they go, they carry shame. Mm -hmm. Whenever they go, they are like wilderness. Mm -hmm. Even when they come into your life, even when they come into your family, even when they come into your business, mm -hmm. they are like wilderness. Uh -huh. When they go into a company, uh -huh. that company dries up, mm -hmm. whatever they do. And the, the Lord says, and set her like a dry land and slay her with thirst. Mm -hmm. In other words, her thirst cannot be quenched. Mm -hmm. And I will not have mercy upon our children. Mm -hmm. So whatever you're doing is affecting even your, <laughs> your children. children. Mm -hmm. And they be the children of Udoms. Mm -hmm. Because, of course, if, if, if you are already having these traits, mm -hmm. what you bring forth, 
will still the children will imitate you will imitate you and do as you are doing yes so i am just uh calling upon mm. those people who like just walking naked mm. exposing themselves uh -huh. saying they are, you are modern yeah god looks at you mm. he gives you warning the one who will come many things will be spoken so that you can't back to your mm. senses mm. if you fail these things follows it strips you naked and you just that nakedness that you want to expose mm. it, it, thank you very yes. much and uh, we, we see this generally mm -hmm. men have no much problem when it comes to wearing yeah. majority yes but women uh, are the problem yes they want to expose themselves and i know no, they they want to take advantage of the men because you see them they say don't you like what you are seeing so they want to show until they show what they are not supposed to show because they know they un understand one thing mm. the the eyes of the men are sexual organ but mm. i want to tell you yeah there are men who have discovered that their eyes are sexual organ and they have decided to put on a garment to cover mm -hmm. they have controlled their the loins of their minds mm -hmm. so when you expose like that they will make you appear like you are useless because they don't like that they see you you are loose when you're supposed to expose your your bust you expose your body they see you as a loose human you are a dangerous woman mm. and don't don't go to the wrong class by the way you dress dress properly uh, i i know there's a church where the the man of god uh in charge of the church was forced to 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 make a uniform for the people who are serving especially those who serve the men of god at the service table mm. because they would come and wear a dress intentionally <laughs> so when he bows she bows before you she ask how many spoons, uh, spoons? <laughs> some will say 10 because the mind is not there <laughs> so how, how many <laughs> ten, sir. ten so the, what what pastor and so the, now they go oh so. two <laughs> Because now, <laughs> what he was seeing, he was right. supposed to see. No, no, no. You have, you have, you have, you have touched <laughs> something very sensitive. Yeah. Because you have gone to some places, mm. some places to minister, mm. and to be sincere, even those who attend, mm -hmm. who attend to the ministers, mm. you you think they are on from, a mission. Yeah, they are from, from hell. They yes, were directly. released them that morning. Yes. Uh -huh. And somehow, even I am scared. Mm. I'm a woman, mm. but I'm scared. Because they are totally almost are, naked, almost naked, mm -hmm. and they are the people that are special, special and are to serve, to serve. the anointed mm -hmm. men of to God. Serve the anointed so, men, men of God. So this man did an honorable <laughs> thing. What he made a garment? He made a uniform. <laughs> a bronze or what? This this is a garment designed in a way that you look smart, yes. but it will cover you. <laughs> so that you have no time to cut your slit, and you have no time to. Uh, make sure that there is a you you have to lower the garment there so it is ah uh, even when you bow there's nothing to expose and uh one man asked him why have you decided to do this and because they were uniform they were nice i said i noticed all your workers are very good uniform and they're serving very well here i say yes <laughs> we try to block the ways of the devil because <laughs> <laughs> when we <laughs> when we allow some to decide how they're supposed to dress, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. they used to come very in a very funny manner. So I I think uh, some some ladies what they need is just direction. Yeah. When they they are taught and they are fathered and they are shown mm. what what you are doing is wrong. Yes. They will come up and they will understand because even some ladies also have not been fathered. Mm. They, they are looking for wrong for the love from the wrong places. Yes, yes. They are looking for attention from the wrong yes, places. Yes. They are looking for affirmation from the wrong places. from the wrong places, and that is how now they go to the extent of trying to expose themselves. Yes. Now, uh, for the final thing today, I want us to to come to the end of this so that we begin something fresh tomorrow. Mm -hmm. Now, when it comes to finances, yes, how does a woman feel? When the husband mm -hmm. does not give her money direct, <laughs> she he will give the sister mm -hmm. to give to the wife, the mother to give to the wife, or a brother to give to the wife, or the best friend the money. She or uh, he can give you little. You know, if you need more, you will ask my mother. If you need more, you will ask my sister. I have instructed her to give all.
I, you will tell me, I will instruct my friend. That's, Some that's, money I have left. That, what that what does one, a woman feel? That when you one do that? to a woman, it is a high state of humiliation. Mm -hmm. It is a high state of demoralizing this woman. Mm -hmm. She feels she don't have a place in you. She mm -hmm. don't have a place in that marriage. Mm -hmm. In other words, you have taken her like just what you call a piece of meat. Mm -hmm. And this woman, she cannot. Mm -hmm. She cannot take this as something that is light, especially when it comes to her life. Mm -hmm. Your own sister, mm -hmm. she's the one that I'm going to consult uh -huh. for money, mm -hmm. or your brother, mm -hmm. or your friend. Mm -hmm. Where do I belong? Mm -hmm. So even if I will be in this marriage, mm -hmm. I know I don't belong anywhere. Mm -hmm. I know I am nowhere in your heart. Mm -hmm. In other words, I am not your priority. Mm -hmm. I'm, I'm just in this marriage mm. ceremoniously, mm. but when it comes to that relationship, mm. it's not there. So it's humiliating. It is humiliating. It is something that is, it kills in other ones. That means the wife has lost her place. Yes, she, now, she has no place. If a man do that, you understand you are humiliating your oh own wife. Oh my God. You are not helping her. You are humiliating her in the presence of your people. Now. They can't even respect they are his men. They are men. When they are going somewhere, I'm going for two weeks. I'm going for one month. I'm going for six weeks. Or one, six months. I tell you, as I live now, mm -hmm. let my ch your children, our children, go to stay with my mother. And then you stay <laughs> alone. You're because showing, I'm going. You're showing me that your mother is more honorable. She's more special. Mm. She, in other words, she's playing the, the, the work of her, of her wife. Mm. How can another woman take care of my children? Mm. The children that I've given birth to. Mm. Your own mother. Mm. More than you. More than me. Mm. I, I, I know the, the pain of, of, of giving birth. Mm. Then I take my children to your mother. Mm. It, it means I, 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 I am... They are not going to visit. They are going to stay there until I come. Because she is the one who is able to take care of them. Uh, I, I trust my mother to take care of the children more than you. Then I, I, I am not in this marriage. Mm. Uh, in other words, <laughs> I, am, I am not in this marriage. Uh, uh, so some that, people are in funny marriages. Uh, this is not marriage. <laughs> That's not marriage. Uh, you cannot lie. How do you react to that? Because there is a woman it is who is not, facing it the is same not, thing. It is not permitted. <laughs> I, I will not, for one thing, I will not allow that. <laughs> I, I can't take it. I will tell you, my dear, <laughs> I love you and truly I respect you, but to this, mm. you have overstepped. Mm -hmm. that's, that's why we said there should be boundaries, mm -hmm. even between the couples. Boundaries that should govern our marriage. Mm -hmm. So if, if you're telling me to mm -hmm. take children mm -hmm. back at home mm -hmm. in, in, in uh, a country mm -hmm. and I stay here mm -hmm. so that you're... Oh, then go to their aunt. No. Yes. We let, just let, 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 me just, let me just stay with, 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 with our children. Mm. If you don't trust me, just go. If you meet them dead, let them die in my mm. hands. Mm. Because that's not possible. Ah. It, it means you are, you are not respecting me. You are not considering me as a person who is worthy. And there are people who are doing that. In yeah, I, I, I handled a case like that. I handled a case <laughs> like that. This lady, she was crying. She was, she was in pain. She was in tears. Because every time the mother-in-law, she could call. I and this man says, I love you. I don't want to uh, no give love. you There's no love. There's mm. no love there. That is hypocrisy. That is hypocrisy. That's it. That, does any woman like to be told she is not a mother? No, no. So every woman would like to be, why, 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 to be a good in, man. By the way, why did this man marry this woman? You married Maybe this... he came to discover you're not a mother after marrying. Then uh, I, I think he, he's the one who never knew what he wanted in life. Yes, but that should not be. Now, finally, not, not the least, there are women also who don't cook. For their husband, mm -hmm. they don't cook for their children. Mm -hmm. It's the husband who cooks. It's the husband who shops. And when the husband goes out, even the children know they are in trouble. And what they will hit is something that they will be saying, "God help the father to return home." What do you think? That uh, what can you address such kind of a mother? Uh, she she is out of because. Place. Look at that. Mm. She cannot cook. She will cook very simple things for the children when the father is not there. She mm. will not even go shopping and get the best. The husband will do the shopping. Even when the husband does the shopping, leaves things in the house, 
Fear, fear. But she has no time to do all that for the children. So them, you don't just eat that spaghetti. You eat all this. Bread is there. And all this, you eat that. And even sometimes, the children cannot be prepared in the morning. They want to go to school. Maybe the father is not there. They will always be late. Even the bus may leave them. And when the bus, they leave the bus, the children will call the father. Say, the father, the bus left us because we could not prepare ourselves. The father maybe can have a solution. Maybe as somebody knows, a friend, or you can hire a tax and call the tax man and say, go and pick my children and take them to school. And the wife is there. And she is in the house, not out of the house. That, what, do you, what kind of a thing that, is that? That's unfortunate, especially mm. to that man. Mm. Uh, there are two things can mm. be happening. Mm. There, there is the category number one. Mm. Category number one is for uh, a woman who is very lazy. Mm -hmm. A woman who is very lazy, she cannot coordinate. Mm. Uh, you see, women, we are multitask. Mm. We multitask. Mm. We can do four, three, five things at a time. Mm -hmm. Uh, but there are women who carries the genes of men. Mm. They, they are more of men mm, than women. <laughs> than, than women. Mm. So if she focuses on one thing, mm. that is what she will she focus. She will focus on washing. Yeah. She will only wash yes. for, yes. forget to cook. Yes. And uh, they, especially those that are, they are more of men than women, mm -hmm. they go into the territory of thinking, mm -hmm. the way men think. Mm -hmm. So you think that you are married to a woman. Mm. But you are married to a fellow to, man. To a fellow man. She's mm. a thinker. So mm. these are the things, mm. even when you try to, to tell her, she's not coordinating. Mm. She's in the world of thinking. Mm. And uh, having such a woman, mm. it is terrible. Mm. So uh, category number one, I'm, I have talked of a category that mm. is lazy. Mm. Uh, generally, there are women who are lazy. 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 They don't want to get tired. Mm. And uh, they cannot even... There is nothing that bothers them. Mm, mm. Even their own body, they cannot remember to, to, to bathe. Mm. They are just like... They are dirty. They are dirty. Mm -hmm. Category number two, mm. it is now a woman who is more of a man. Mm. Mind, what, everything. Mm -hmm. She is more of a man than mm. a woman. Mm. She, so she, 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 be, she does things in a man way. Mm. So before she come from... Uh, activity A to B mm. shifting, it mm -hmm. requires a lot of time. Mm. So even children they will be late, mm -hmm. even coordinating what, what what do I do for them, it mm. will be a problem. Mm -hmm. So that that woman she need a lot of therapy mm -hmm. so that she can come back mm -hmm. to, to the to the lane mm -hmm. of, of a of a of woman. woman. Then there is the category number three. Mm. Category number three, it is a woman who is distressed mm -hmm. and she is either sick sick uh -huh. or she is in depression mm -hmm. i was amazed last week one woman called me mm -hmm. and i'm yet to call mm -hmm. that lady uh -huh. and uh, sit with her mm -hmm. because i the way she spoke to me mm -hmm. i understood she is sick uh -huh. she told me mm -hmm. woman of god I, I i respect you and i honor the grace of god and the anointing of god mm -hmm. upon your life mm -hmm. But let me tell you the truth. Mm -hmm. I have been praying and seeking God to make me a widow. Mm -hmm. Because I have done everything possible to my husband. Mm -hmm. He is not changing. So I want to become a widow. Mm -hmm. That means the husband to die. To die. Yeah. I told her, keep quiet. What are you saying? Mm -hmm. Then I, I told her, God is not the other conf confusion. Mm -hmm. Something is totally wrong with you. Mm -hmm. and, 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 and I said... Uh, if 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 uh, even if you are a woman, even mm -hmm. if your husband has become wicked, uh -huh. this man is wicked. Ninety-eight percent. It means you are wicked two percent. Mm. So I, I I just talked to to her and I showed her what she was saying is it's it's not in order. Mm. So if you are living with a woman who is distressed. Uh -huh. She is depressed. Mm -hmm. She's a sick person. Mm -hmm. She cannot coordinate all these things. Uh -huh. It will become a problem. Mm -hmm. uh, it will become a, a big challenge. And mm -hmm. this man should come in and help. And help. And help. Mm -hmm. Because the moment uh, uh, a woman goes into distress, uh -huh. she needs to be shown love. Uh -huh. If it is this shopping mm -hmm. or going somewhere, you, you just insist in love. Mm -hmm. Let us go. Because mm -hmm. when they begin to go into depression, mm -hmm. they like isolating themselves. Mm -hmm. She don't want to associate mm -hmm. herself with you. She don't want to accompany you. 
even these children, she may, she may beat them, she may do all manner of things to these children mm -hmm. because to them she don't want disturbance. Yeah. She sees these children as disturbance. Mm. She sees you as a as a bandit, as a disturbance, mm. and you may you may have a sick person mm. who needs to be helped. Mm -hmm. So if you see you are you have tried, mm. you have tried to help, mm -hmm. and this help is not bearing forth fruit, mm -hmm. you should bow and humble mm. and you seek for a counsel mm. you seek for a counselor you go you may even visit maybe a, a, a doctor mm. who, who has who, who can help mm. and uh, this person can be healed so there are, there are women that people can blame mm. they can cast them they can name them but they are through a difficult process now we, we finish now with this we talked about as one of the spouse mm -hmm. elevating a friend more than the spouse Either honor the friend, all this mm -hmm. more time and that. And we talked that we said, you need to honor your, your wife. Yes. Now, there are people, mm -hmm. not the mother, not the spouse. The daughter has grown up. The son has grown up. Mm -hmm. So it is the son who is being the daughter, gain responsibility of the family when the mother is there. Or the, the son. The man goes and he will live everything with the son <laughs> give your mother this or the daughter because the daughter is more responsible than the mother how do you take that that woman has been overthrown already mm -hmm. she's not in her place she has been overthrown so should uh, one was, elevate children no, more than that's what, that's what i'm saying she's already overthrown and that is not in order mm. that is not acceptable mm -hmm. even if you, there's something that you don't like to your to your wife mm. you should not elevate children more than your wife mm. you should not elevate children more than your husband mm. in other words you are bringing and disorder and disorder mm. because the word of god commands that ch children should obey their parents their mm. father and mother mm. now if 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 a father brings another order that is contrary to the word of god mm -hmm. you are you are causing these children to enter into a curse mm. because when it comes to god god is god of protocol mm. god is god of protocol mm. so it is even good to be very wise mm. to be very wise you say i am living and I, I have left everything mm. with your mother. Mm. Your mom will take care of you. Mm. I have left either enough money. And so these children, if something misses, mm. they can now approach their mom. Mm. Mom, we are facing this. We have mm. not eaten lunch. Mm. And our dad said she has left everything. What mm. happened? Mm. At least that way. You see the children they, they because they are hungry mm. now they can they can ask because uh, our dad when he was leaving us mm. instead of maybe uh, if you notice the, 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 this this woman she's not responsible mm -hmm. she she overspends mm. and using that wisdom even you know when i say this mm. that uh, you give assurance mm. assurance to the children yeah. i have left everything mm. and uh, your mom will take care of you mm. i have left enough money mm. your mother will take care of you so children they are sure that you will not sleep hungry mm. you will not eat bread mm -hmm. in, in, in uh, at night mm. <laughs> in form of food in mm. form of a supper or dinner mm. uh, um, our dad assured us mm. that he has left enough money mm -hmm. so when you use that wisdom mm -hmm. just that wisdom of assuring children before their mother mm. that itself it will it will it will it will uh, help this woman mm -hmm. not to overspend uh -huh. because she knows if she overspends mm. she, the children knows their father left enough mm, money, money. Mm. so this one can 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 make can bring some precautions to this woman to overspend such that now if something lacks mm. the, the children can come knowing that they are going to their mother mm. not that money was given to the son or to the daughter mm. that is not the order that is not the way to go mm. that is humiliating still this woman together mm. with our weaknesses mm -hmm. it is it is uh, displacing her in this marriage mm. in, in other words it's, it's 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 saying we don't recognize you and mm. that should not be thank you very much mm. and now one last one before we <laughs> we pray yes. because of our time yeah i see your quality you are a good woman but your husband i don't like the quality i see another man he's a good man and that they like the quality of the wife i have a wedding I choose you, <laughs> and I choose that man to be my best 
couple. That's confusion. <laughs> That's in disorder. Yeah. Because uh, the word of God says what God has put together, no machines separate. No mm. machines put aside. Mm. So if you don't like what is in me, mm. and you, uh, a, a person somewhere likes what is in you, yeah. they chooses you, mm -hmm. and I am just separated here. Mm. Then they go and look for another couple. They see, they see, they see uh, the woman. Ah. They love what is in the woman. Mm. So during the day of the wedding, if everybody will see you with that woman studying, mm. they will say this is the best thing couple. Mm. They will see you as a couple. Mm. I am displaced. Mm. There's a man there displaced. Mm. What this new couple, the wedding couple, mm. uh, they have managed, it is to put asunder mm. what God has put together. And what have they attracted? Mm. But God will fight them. God will judge them. And that should not be. Okay. You have earned from the horse's mouth. And I believe you're going to uh, to digest on that. Especially those who have not gotten married. And uh, you look at, at a couple and say, this man is good, but the wife, mm -mm. I look another, you see, the woman is good, but the man, mm -mm. let me pick this woman, let me pick this woman. In other words, you are rearranging and you are trying to put some people that were not supposed to be together in a marriage. You are and, correcting God. And this <laughs> is dangerous and yes, it happens yes. in some situations. Yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, even we have overspent our time trying to conclude these abundant things. And I believe you have learned something. And I believe there are places you know. If you are a wife and you are dressing and your husband is not comfortable, please dress for your husband. Let your husband be comfortable. And he should not drag you to go against God and make you like a man woman because of his lust. Let there be a boundary. Circumcise his heart so that you understand you are a woman and you need to be respected. You are a mother you need to be respected. And let him understand that if he does not understand. A man, be a man. That you can uh, be having control of everything in that. And I finish with, with these ones. Anybody who spends more time with your spouse, he has the power than you do. He has the power to take them away from you. And anyone who appreciates your spouse more than you do has the power to steal their love or the love of your spouse from you. Make sure no one spends more time than you with your spouse. Whether you're getting to marry or you are already married, anybody who does that has the power to take him away. So guard your relationship by doing the right thing. With one statement, yeah. you can advise, you can just speak. There are couples, especially when their children begin to grow, mm. they, they divide the children. You, you, you pick either two or one, you, you go and gossip me mm. <laughs> with either uh, the one that you have chosen. These are my likes. And I pick those that I see they are my likes and I begin to tell them, your father is like this. So there is that division. That, that, that division should not be, uh, you are not supposed to drag your children in even in your problems. Differences. You need to allow them live their lives. You not, them, and you should not have a favorite child. Thank you. you you need to treat them because they are very sensitive. If you are not careful, you may bring battles and strife within your children. When you show you favor and don't keep comparing a child with the other, just be like your brother. Why can't you be like your sister? Why can't you perform like this? Why can't you know each one of them is unique in their own ways? And don't divide. Say this is mother's girl, this is father's girl, this is mother's uh, boy. Don't do that. You, you have to bring them together and don't gossip your wife before your children. You can comment good things about the wife. You can comment about women. You can teach men about the women, how they be through their mother, through their sister, and show them. But don't uh, point out negative things about their father or their mother. You are bad, planting a very bad seed to your own children and you reap destruction in those children's life. So please, uh, this is uh, far we could have gone uh, to these boundaries of the marriage. Correction also, you, not, you don't need to correct yourself before the children. You have your own way to do that, and you should not involve them. Even if there are this difference, don't come and share with them and say, your father made me very mad last night. You did this. Uh -uh. Leave the children out of your own troubles. Uh, make them understand 
uh, that you love them no matter what and their love father loves them. Never signed with anyone who is wrong and uh, sideline the father or other children. And God will, is going to bless you when you do that. And when you are a big Anna, especially you are a woman, be careful how you speak to the man. Because you may speak before the children and the children say, it's because my mother hangs more than my yeah. father. And my mother has a big job. That's why you see it. So be very careful mm. and you need to be very uh, cautious. And to the woman, especially <coughs> if you are married to the, you are older than your husband, be very cautious. Yeah. How you say, because you think, you are, you are thinking you are older than him and wiser than him, uh, be very cautious. Especially if you are older and taller. <laughs> <laughs> be careful. If you are older right. and taller than him, be very careful. careful what you say. And especially if your body also has grown so huge and the man still is featherweight, be careful because you may reap a lot of distraction by doing this. Somebody told me, and I give you his assignment that. Men who are married to women who are taller than them, <laughs> they, have, police it's a police who told us, they have an issue and they have a problem within that marriage and they keep on striving. <laughs> and I have collected a few samples and there is like, I want to believe that policeman, <laughs> but I am looking for a relation in the Bible to back it up, but I have not gotten it. <laughs> Please, also you, you can do research and tell me, is that true? He collected reports through OB. Through OB? He collected reports through OB. <laughs> Those who are coming to report the case, the, men, the cases he has done uh, and all this. And he came uh, to a conclusion that the man who is married to a woman who is taller than him, they have a problem in the marriage. They always strive. And I have seen some cases. I don't know about you. Is that the truth? Search it. And maybe it will be a point of discussion in the next thing or in the next time when we come on air. May God help us. God bless you. Have a wonderful night. Remember, you can get more of these messages that we have preached on my YouTube channel at Apostle Domiziano Mwenda. Like the channel, please. And also subscribe to the channel. And God is going to bless you. Then make sure before you sleep, you share this message with your friends. We have talked a lot of things that can shape someone who want to be helped. Mm. There are some marriages that are having pain and wounds because they did not understand some things and they did it carelessly. And when you do this, God is going uh, to bless you and do you good. Let us pray and end our, our uh, program today by the word of a prayer. Let us pray. Father, we thank you. For every male and every female who has listened to this message, you, those who never understood the boundaries, they have understood now. Mm. Help them to maintain, help them to keep, help them to act and do things yes. in the right manner mm. for the glorification of your beautiful name. I pray for every man and I pray for every woman who has uh, received this message, oh God, they shall mm. put it into practice. Those who lack knowledge, those who lack wisdom, mm. give them which you offer by this word. And whoever will continue to listen to this word, they will develop a wisdom and understanding to solve their problems. Right. And they will understand there are some boundaries, there mm. are some rules yes. they are supposed to observe in marriage. Let mm. man be a man, oh Lord. And let the woman also be the woman. Mm. Bless them, and joy. Those who are not married, Yes, God, let, let them use this information to guard themselves mm. and also to prepare themselves for a good marriage mm. that is coming on their way. Let them be blessed and let your name be honored and your name be praised and be exalted. Let your word be fulfilled in our lives because you are our God. We thank you, Jesus, and we give you praise and we give you honor and we give all the glory. I pray for the mean day. People, yes, Lord. those are sick, heal them now. Mm. Those are having other problems, financial problems, yes, any Lord. challenge yes, in their lives. Yes, God arise, yes. let your enemies Discard be scattered, and let your blessing mm. be released unto these people thank you, and Jesus. their lives. Mm. We thank you, Jesus. We give you praise, honor, and also glory. Meet us at the point of our need. Make us laugh, yes. because it's a prophetic season mm. where you're making us laugh. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. 
because you are God. Mm-hmm. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. May the Lord bless you. Amen. Crown you with joy Amen. and goodness. Mm. May the Lord be with you. Remember again, marriage was designed for us to rejoice, to enjoy, not to tolerate. Mm. So in Swahili we say, Dosi kufumiliana, bali nekufraya. Until we meet tomorrow again, beginning at 9. Uh, my name is Apostle Domiziano Mwenda, and my wife, uh, Pastor Florida Mwenda. We are uh, speaking to you from Central Kenya. And uh, God is good. Uh, share this message and let us meet tomorrow again uh, and share more. God bless you and have a wonderful day.